guys welcome back to my channel so it has been a while but I am back um so today I'm pretty much gonna be doing a review on these brushes right here I'm pretty much just gonna give you guys my thoughts and what I know about them and how I feel um these are the artists I'm not sure if it's artists or artists yeah <laughs> but anyways it's the artist makeup brushes these this is the elite collection um mirror finish i know back then i think they used to have like a gold finish as well but the one i have is the mirror finish i don't know if that gold finish is still out there um so yeah i'm pretty much gonna give you my thoughts what i feel um and what i know about it yeah so I've had these now for a couple months. I've actually been meaning to do this review for a while. I filmed this review. I had originally filmed the review, I want to say maybe a month, like a month ago, but I didn't like the quality at all because my uh, microphone wasn't working and whatnot. So I ended up just not posting. I was like, okay, I'm going to redo it. And I just never got around to it. So here I am. <laughs> But yeah, I got these brushes, <clears throat> excuse me, I got these brushes back in December for my birthday. My uh, hubby got them for me. Yeah, it was for my birthday. So that was early December. Um, so December, January, February, March. It's been, it's been a while. I've had these for a while. I've got to use them, wash them, use them, wash them again, and then use them some more. <laughs> and I just washed them to do this video. So trust me, I've, got, I've gotten my use. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the box and show you guys how they come. So this is pretty much how they come. Sorry if you guys could see my ring light. <laughs> it's a mirror finish, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over every brush, give you my thoughts and if I use them and all that stuff. And by the way, I do wanna go ahead and mention that the, the, the set does retail for $360 so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more on that price and what I think about it and all that stuff okay cuz $360 ain't cheap boo it ain't cheap <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with this one <laughs> this one I'm just gonna go ahead this way so this right here is the oval all the round ones are oval so this one is the oval three and it says here oval three is to assist the user in shading and blending the products applied to the outside and inside corners of the eyelid and smaller areas of the eyelid uh, blah 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 then it talks about the brush and the quality and all that good stuff <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much what it's used for uh, I don't think I've ever <laughs> I don't think I've ever used it on my eye. I just don't see it being comfortable using it on my eye. Um, what I have used this brush for is more like contouring my nose, like highlighting the bridge of it. I feel like it's perfect because it fits right on there. <laughs> so that's what I've used this brush for. And I do want to say that it's like extremely like soft and it's super dense the brush it has so much bristles in there it's crazy so yeah that's what I use this for um that's the only thing I can actually use this brush for I don't feel like I I found use in any other brush uh in any other area of my you know me doing my makeup for this brush so that's the oval three the next one is this brush which looks kind of like the oval three just slightly bigger this is the oval 4 which the oval 4 has an overall footprint of fiber size to facilitate application to a particular portion of the eyelid like the area of an upper from the upper lash line to fold in the eyelid so yeah again this this mental blend out stuff up here um, have I ever used it for that? Um, the only time I've actually used it for that is like, let's say, um, before I'm like putting my eyeshadow and all that good stuff. Uh, when I'm like, uh, putting my, my primer, my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter. 
uh, just to blend everything out in there. Um, I find that it, it actually does fit perfect. Um, that's the only thing that I've actually used this brush for. Um, and, and if I'm going to put like highlighter here, I'll go ahead and right under because it fits perfectly. So that, those are two things that I have used this brush for. Um, actually, let me go ahead and give you the guys, uh, give you guys the price of these individually because they do sell them in the, in the store individually. So let me give you guys the price. So this one is the Oval 3. Uh, the Oval 3 retails for $41. This is the Oval 4, I said, right? Yes, the Oval 4 retails for $46. Um, if you guys want to pay that much, mm, that's on y'all. <laughs> that's on y'all. <laughs> uh, so let's go on to the next brush. The next brush is this one, which this one I do definitely use a lot. This one is much bigger, I, I believe. To me, it's much bigger than the Oval 4, and it's like huge compared to the Oval 3. So this one is the Oval 6. Let's see here what it says it's for. The Oval 6, um, Elite Oval 6 is, a great, is great for applying products to the entire eyelid or foundation to the face or contouring the cheeks bone, the cheekbone area. It applies uh, blush beautifully to the apples of the cheeks and blends it so that the application looks natural and healthy. So I've never used it to apply blush to my cheeks, but I have used it to contour and to blend. Um, I've definitely used it a bunch of time to blend out my highlighter um, from like under my under my lip, under my eyes, on my forehead, all that stuff. I've used it and it works great. So this brush, I definitely, definitely do recommend. I said this was the Oval 6. The Oval 6 uh, retails for $57 on the website. So a little bit pricey. Um, but I definitely do use this brush a lot more than the other ones that I just mentioned. So I would say I, I do recommend it and I would purchase it. The next one, this is one of my favorites, is this one. Uh, this is the Oval 8. So let's see what it says here. Oval 8 is slightly smaller than the Oval 10 and has hundreds of thousands of fiber and an oval shape to provide application to a large area of the face. Perfect to apply a foundation or setting powder to the entire face or apply and blend bronzing and highlighting powders to the entire area of the face. So, I just want to say I love, 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 love <laughs> this brush. It's so dense. Like when they say hundreds of thousands of fibers, they're not playing. Like, look at this. Like, this is so... Excuse my nails, by the way. I know I have to get them done, so please don't judge me. So, yeah. This is the brush, and it's, like, super dense. I love this brush. This brush is... <gasps> I love it. <laughs> so, um, I use this brush to apply foundation. To be honest, I use this brush when I get a little lazy, and I don't want to have to, like use multiple different brushes to blend out a little bit of my highlighter too just because I'm that's just me I'm lazy so yeah I use this brush definitely to apply foundation um this one like they said is slightly smaller than the Oval 10 which I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more info on the Oval 10 but let me just finish up with this one you see it's slightly smaller so sometimes it is easier to apply your foundation with this brush um just because it lets you get into you know smaller areas of your face you know to like the creases and all that stuff because there's a smaller brush I will say since the brush is so dense and packed with bristles you're not gonna find yourself wasting a lot of foundation because there's not much space for foundation to get in there so the foundation that you apply on your face is gonna stay there and it blends it out so fast I mean I can blend out my foundation in under Another two minutes for sure. As to where with a small uh, round buff brush, it does take me like a good five minutes to blend off foundation. So that's one thing I will say about this. It's so fast at blending foundation. It's amazing. Another thing I will say, I did wash these brushes. Um, and that's the only thing negative that I have to say where they're a little bit, <laughs> they're a little bit hard to wash because they're so dense. Um, they're so dense that you know it's like kind of hard to get in there and scrub them 
Uh, but that's really the only thing. That's just pretty much me nitpicking at that point. Because, I mean, washing your brushes ain't never fun. <laughs> if you're like me, it's just never fun. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I have to say about the Oval 10. Oh, the Oval 8. Sorry. And the Oval 8 retails for $67. Which... I definitely do recommend because I cannot live without that brush. Okay. So my next brush is the Oval Tan. So the Oval Tan, as you can see, is definitely larger than the Oval 8. So let's see what they have to say about the Oval Tan. The description is, the Oval Tan has a gener generously sized round oval of fibers to provide coverage to a large area of the face and body the pat and brush is superior for applying a setting powder to the entire face or blending highlighter powders to the face or body this brush can be used to apply powder foundation to the entire face in seconds or it can be applied or it can apply a shimmer effect product hmm, didn't know that so i've never <laughs> I've never used this brush actually for powder at all, ever. I don't think I've ever used any of these brushes for powder. Always liquid, always, always liquid. So I've always used this to blend out liquid foundation. Um, never tried it with powder, so that'll be interesting to try out. So gonna give that a try. But yeah, all that I've used this for is again to blend out my foundation. It's good for like your, uh, your chest and your neck. And all that stuff because it's such a big brush even if you want to use it to like blend out foundation in your body like that would be like literally i can blend out foundation with this brush so that it's not even funny it's not even funny so i would definitely 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 recommend this brush i mean i guess if i want to nitpick um the only thing i will say is like this part right here like this white part is actually rubber it's like a yeah it's like a rubber material so as you can see, it tends to get like dirty. It tends to get really dirty. So when I'm going to, you know, use them, that's the only thing they do tend to get dirty. So I constantly have to like wipe it off because I, I like for them to look like all cute and pretty, you know? So I don't want them getting full of junk and makeup and all that stuff. So that's, that's my only thing that I do have to say. I don't like that uh, they constantly get full of makeup. So those are all the oval brushes. Oh, and the Oval 10 retails for $77 in the website, so just keep that in mind. But again, I can't live without that brush, so just saying. Let's see what else I got. The next three that I'm going to talk about, which I'm not going to spend too much time on them, uh, is the liner brushes. So we have a linear, a liner 6, liner 3, and liner 1. So this one is... Oops, Six, three, and one. So they pretty much get smaller, and it's pretty basic. They're meant to use eye. They're meant to apply eyeliner. To be honest, I don't really use them. <laughs> I've tried using them, but I just feel like it was a little bit inconvenient for me. Um, they're not like my go-to brushes. They do get the job done. You can definitely apply liner with them. I just feel like it's not as convenient so I don't see myself going to it the only one that I really use would be liner one which is the smallest one and that's when you I want to apply like anything to my bottom lash the next one is liner three I believe yes liner three which is slightly bigger and then there's liner six which is the biggest one which I just don't find myself using that much. I'm gonna give you guys the price. Liner six, which is this one, is $45. Uh, liner three, which is this one, is $41. And then liner one, which is this one, is $36. So I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to purchase them individually, but everyone's different. The next two that I'm gonna talk about would be these round brushes, which is circle 1R and then circle one. So circle 1R is this one, which circle 1R I believe is for, uh, 
let me see focus application and blending so this one is for your eyes like kind of like to buff um product in there again i never really used it just because it does get the job done i mean it's actually a pretty dense uh buff brush but it's just not my go-to brush it's not like these <laughs> you know so that's my only thing with that let me see if i can get the price for you i'm sorry if i keep looking down i'm just looking at the website to get the prices so this is circle one r retails for 36 dollars and the next one is circle one which i believe is for your lips yes i was <laughs> so apply lip product i never even touched this brush um to be honest just because i don't ever use a lip brush ever i don't ever use it so i just don't you know i don't find the point in it uh so this one retails for as well 36 dollars so those are all of the brushes um those are my thoughts in it um so pretty much like i said at the beginning the full set which is a set of 10 brushes this retail for uh 360 dollars for 10 brushes um a lot a lot of people will say it's expensive which i know it is it definitely is expensive um but i do not regret uh purchasing these brushes because they are so nice so luxurious especially if you're like a makeup geek like me uh where i just love makeup uh you just want to have it just you know pretty much as a collector uh, who who pretty much collects brushes and makeup and all that stuff you kind of just want to have this piece in your uh in your vanity sitting so i definitely would repurchase it again um all the brushes are useful they all are useful Full for what they say they are um, some brushes I use differently because <laughs> that's just me <laughs> um, so I definitely again I would recommend them I think the price is right because uh, these are super luxurious brushes and not to not to mention that they've actually never shitted on me shedded they've never shitted <laughs> they've never shedded okay <laughs> so yeah they they don't shed um even after washing them and i've washed them i washed them a couple times already I, I must say i've washed them about three to four times and still no shedding so uh that's definitely always a good thing and something that you want to have um again if you guys have any questions or anything like that don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below and i'll I'll go ahead and I'll reach out. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and for supporting. Uh, and just thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me and my other social medias. Bye.